Travel from Australia to the Outer Banks for a family reunion. Now he finds himself stuck in a Norfolk hospital room, paralyzed. Gilbert tells us he dove into a sandbar, shattering a vertebra in his spine. Now he is facing a tough journey home and mounting hospital bills. Tonight he is sharing his story only with 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves. If home is truly where the heart is, right now Gilbert's is about 10 thousand miles away. You, you get homesick, your family's all in all that in Australia. A life-changing accident has had him confined to this hospital bed in Norfolk since August. Staff here and his aunt are trying their best to comfort him, but nothing compares to home in Australia. If anything was to happen, I would like to be next to my family. Gilbert says he was with family on his first international trip when he became paralyzed. He was at a reunion in the Outer Banks. He dove off a dock in Buxton into the Pamlico Sound. And uh, I looked at the water, it, it was murky and you can't see what's underneath. He hit his head on a sandbar, shattering a vertebra in his spine. He ultimately had no feeling from the chest down. Insurance here, though, doesn't cover him. A specialized flight back home cost up to $200,000. That's why he needs help. It gets really frustrating. At least today, that help came in the form of star power. Actor Terry O'Quinn, who lives in Virginia Beach, heard about Gilbert's story. He's a great guy, and he's a grateful guy. I would especially like to make a plea to the folks of Hamden Roads and say, let's, let's us take this as a community effort. A GoFundMe account has already raised $50,000. Gilbert and his family hope to reach that 200,000 mark for the flight. He's hopeful it will happen though, but no matter where he goes, that smile isn't going anywhere. They say um, happiness is uh, the cure to get back on my feet. In Norfolk, Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.